So tomorrow we're going to be doing a fractional uh, roll and the roll is with a client that I already have and so as I told you earlier in another video about how I get paid to solve problems and once you get your foot in the door uh, you can find other opportunities by finding other problems that need to be solved other opportunities that come up that you can have a solution for and therefore you're already in their system so it's easier for these companies to already go ahead and do business with the vendor that has already gone through all the security requirements all of the vetting um, and it even it helps a whole lot if you already have a great relationship with them and so I always tell people that we don't behave as a vendor we behave as a partner and so this particular client and and I will say I've got sort of an unfair advantage than than some that may be coming out but it's not an unfair advantage that you may not be able to take advantage of and so what happens is um, all of my clients that I have I knew the people from when I was working at um, an actual health plan and so they already knew my work ethic they already knew how it was to work with me uh, but they trusted the fact that I also hired people on my team that thought and worked the same way I did so they wouldn't have necessarily known my team but they did know how it was to work with me and so for this particular client uh, one of their uh, directors is actually retiring uh, actually they have already retired in the past tense and sometimes with these corporate jobs and the way the the 401ks and pensions and all that kind of stuff works and your age sometimes you have to get out quicker than what you would actually think and and I don't know if that was the case for this role or not but however whatever the case may be uh, they the person that retired was only able to give like a four week notice and this person was there for years like 19 20 years so um, if you know anything about the world of Medicare and managed care in particular it's very hard to find somebody that season to fill in for a role within four weeks um, sometimes even four months and so even when I had started with my job they started looking for it I think I applied in like October November I didn't start until January so sometimes it takes a long time to get people on board it so that's where I come in as a fractional person. And when I say fractional, uh, sometimes, the, uh, most of the time, this term is used for like small businesses and you can't hire, a, you can't afford to hire, say, a CFO. So you may find somebody who is a CFO that only want to work part time with you. And so that person is a fractional CFO because they're only working a few hours a week just to satisfy your CFO role. Well, that goes a little bit further, in my opinion, to other positions where I'm now going to, I'm calling myself a fractional person, but you can also call me a temporary person. You can call a fill-in. You can do whatever you want. The point is you are filling a need for an organization for somebody that has left um, that needs some expertise quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go in first and I'm going to figure out what this person's responsibilities, roles were, were where were they actually working, like what projects were they actually working on, what do they have that's active? What do they have um, that I need to jump in right away and start working on? And then there is a team. I think it's a team of about eight people. So then I need to meet everybody on the team because you got to think as a fractional worker, you're still pretty much considered like an employee. I'm already on the org chart, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and so you, you're literally like an employee. I have a boss that I'm going to be reporting up to, which I'm actually looking forward to um, because I like her and I just um, sometimes you get tired of being the last decision maker. So sometimes you want to be able to have somebody else to go to. So I'm looking forward to all of it. Um, but in the role, what you'll you'll actually have to do is I'm going to have to meet the team. I need to know what the team's responsibilities are. And this is not just for me, because guess what? I'm only going to be there temporarily, but I'm also going to be a part of the hiring process for the person that's going to fill the role permanently. And so it will also be my job to offboard the duties that I've learned that the, the previous person had uh, in their role and then actually offboard that on to the new person that will be there permanently. So there's a reason why I need to know what the team is actually doing in order for me to be able to train and get the next person that's going to be in this role permanently up to speed. 
So tomorrow I have the kickoff meeting with the vice president who I'll be reporting to um, of government programs. And then right after that is the first adherence meeting. So the role is all around STARS and adherence and anything Part D related as related to STARS. So that's my wheelhouse all the time. Um, uh, even when I did, this is the second time I've performed as a fractional role. The time before was with the plan that I used to work with. Um, their director uh, qu quit and only put in like a four-week notice I think uh, and it was right at bid season and so I came back in to fill in in that role to get them through the bid season get them um, up to AEP and actually help them hire the next person train that person on uh, to get them on board and then I rolled off although I'm still a consultant just to answer some general questions but I may pull maybe six to ten hours every quarter that's just how slow it's uh, how it slowed down so I'm looking forward to it uh, so I'll literally be managing my own team at PCN and I'll also be managing my new team uh, as this fractional person. So looking forward to it. Uh, so some of the things that I'll have to do, like I said, is meet the team, know what their responsibilities are. This person was also over certain vendor relationships and management. So I have to know what those vendors are, what contractually they were required to do. I am one of those vendors, which is very interesting. So I'll be providing some type of oversight over to what my team does itself to make sure that all the reporting goes up. And this is important. It. because in this role I'll also be able to see what the vice president and executives actually need um, for from vendors such as myself to actually be able to accurately portray what that story is um, so this is also going to help me on the piece inside in this role now while I am doing this role I, I I want to be sharing um, the journey. Of course, I can't share the um, who the client is and all that kind of stuff because all that stuff's confidential or whatever. But what I can share is what I'm actually doing because somebody may be interested in it. And I'm also trying to train up my internal pharmacist staff to be able to take on these roles in the future. Uh, now, one thing about these fractional roles is you're getting paid for your level of expertise. And you're getting paid for the fact that you can come in very quickly, meet, need minimal training, um, and just start right where, right where you are. Uh, so my staff itself would have to, of course, get more uh, training and more education around the Medicare business itself. But they could go in as a junior fractional person. Um, I'm going in as a senior person. And they could very well go in and get those things done. But my goal would be for them to at least be able to go in, take the notes, manage the project, come back to me with things that they didn't understand so that I'm not the rate limiting step to being able to do multiple fractional roles at the same time. I actually have a, uh, not a full proposal, but I have an email out to another client who's undergoing a PBM transition. And I've done three or four of those already. And so if they need help in that role so that their limited staff can focus on something else, I can also do that. Uh, so the role that I have starting tomorrow as this fractional stars person is anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a week. And I'm already working about 40 to 50 hours a week with my current company, um, not including the YouTube channel, which I just find is fun. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Um, it's going to just be something where I'm just going to have to prioritize and get things going, get things done. But I'm looking forward to it. I like challenges. I don't like doing the same things over and over and over again. And so this just gives me an opportunity to go in, work as a part of a team, work with a different team, uh, discover the challenges, transform it, fix it, uh, set the next person up for success, set the organization up for success, and, and move right on out. And so I'm looking forward to it. That starts tomorrow. So some of the things that you can do if you're thinking about um, – uh, how you could be a fractional person. One of the things I tell you is to make sure that you are a subject matter expert in whatever it is that you do. And oftentimes this should be the roles that you've already filled in the past. Uh, so if you're a director somewhere, you're a manager somewhere, and whatever the workload that you're doing, who else at other companies would be doing your similar role? And then you can look in like the job searches and say, oh, that role, they're looking for somebody like me. But you don't necessarily want to work there as a full time employee. You could reach out to that person and say, hey, I see that you're looking for help. I'm a uh, I'm a consultant. I'm a fractional worker. I may be able to help you out in the interim until you can get this role filled. And also you what value you bring to the table is the fact that you filled that role before you filled it successfully 
successfully so you know what a good candidate would look like to actually fill that role. Uh, so tomorrow, that's when that starts. Uh, that will probably be more in my June vlog. Um, and so please catch up with it. And I may do some wash dishes with me just so you'll be able to see what I have going on with that. But uh, for now, that's what we're going to start doing tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Wash Dishes with me.